Hello everyone. Um, I thought just so to give you some short messages with the eye on Christmas uh, today, the 24th and 25th. Um, I want to stand still in the same passage where the angel appears to Mary in Luke 1. And we find three, re three reactions of Mary. And I thought it would, might be a good idea to think on these three reactions today, um, 24th and 25th. When we read in Luke 1, we read that the angel Gabriel appears to Mary and then we read these wonderful words that the angel greets her and says, Greetings, favoured woman. It's wonderful to think on that, that she's actually unfavoured in human terms. She's young, probably 13. She lives in a, a nothing <coughs> village in Galilee called Nazareth, a small village. Galilee is an unimportant part of the country. Um, in human terms, she really is a nothing. And she has not done anything. And she's greeted as favored. Not for who she is, not for what she has done, but because God wants to do something in her and through her. Maybe that's a first thought for the end of the year. Um, it might not have been a good year for you. Uh, you might not feel that you are blessed. You might not feel that you are worthy, that you have achieved much. If you look back at your year, um, it might be filled with grief. It might be filled with disappointment. It might be filled with um, wrongs. You might feel unworthy. And then it's important to hear God greet you at the end of the year as favored, as blessed. Not for who you are, not for you, for what you have achieved, but because of what God wants to do through you. Um, and then we read these words that Mary was confused and disturbed. In the Greek it's one word, dia tarasua. Tarasua means to stir, uh, like when you stir water, and dia means through. So dia tur terasu means to thoroughly stir, to thoroughly confuse, to be totally confused, to be totally disturbed. And I think that's maybe the first reaction for Christmas. It doesn't need to make sense. Maybe we are not confused enough anymore. Maybe we've become complacent with Christmas. Um, does the thought of God becoming human still disturb you? How can that be? It doesn't make sense. Uh, are you still astounded? Are you still confused? Or do you think you've got it under control? I think uh, Christmas is a time to be disturbed. To say that um, our sins were so big that God had to become human. And it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't need to make sense. I think the moment that we try to make sense of everything, we lose our sense of wonder. I think we need to be confused. We need to be disturbed. We need to be to think on this again. God becomes a human and he does not become a king. He becomes a baby. He's not born in a palace. He's born in a stable. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't need to make sense. Your future is not dependent on your past. It doesn't matter who you think you are. It matters who God thinks you are. And that is confusing because he thinks more of you and me than we think of ourselves. May you experience some confusion this week. May you be disturbed this week. May you hear the wonderful words of God coming to you and saying, Greetings, favoured one. And then you think, why? I don't think I'm that good. I don't think I'm that wonderful. I don't think I'm that able. Not God says, I've come to you. The wonderful words of the angel, the Lord is with you. May you experience that this week in confusing and disturbing ways. Love you. Bye.